problem number 1.2 the electrostatic force on a small sphere of charge 0.4 microcoulomb due to another small sphere of charge minus 0.8 microcoulomb in air is 0.2 newton and what you have to find what is the distance between the two spheres so the situation is a sphere having charge let's say this as sphere 1 it is having a charge q1 0 0.4 micro coulomb and there is another sphere sphere 2 having a charge q2 minus 0 0.8 micro coulomb force on small this is minus 4 micro coulomb due to minus uh, force on 0 0.4 micro coulomb due to minus 0 0.8 micro coulomb it will be in the direction towards 2 because the charges are of opposite polarity force will be attractive its magnitude is given as 0 0.2 newton and we are asked to find in part a the distance between the spheres for forces between two charges we use Coulomb's law. Uh, we will write Coulomb's law 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. It for the magnitude of force I will take magnitude of charges Q1 and Q2 divided by square of the distance between the charges. In this expression I know force, I know this constant, I know the two charges but I don't know the distance which I have to calculate so using the known values in the formula remember with units I will always use physical quantities with units and in the last problem I have explained you why so now place the values force is 0 0.2 Newton the constant factor is 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 Newton meter square per coulomb squared first charge is 0 0.4 micro that is 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb multiplied by magnitude of second charge it is 0 0.8 again micro 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb whole thing divided by r squared which I don't know I have to calculate so take r square to left hand side now I am left on right hand side 10 raised to the power 9 Newton meter square per coulomb square multiplied by 0 0.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 into 0 0.8 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 I forgot the coulomb don't forget units always write units along with the values of physical quantities bring this 0 0.2 newton in denominator as the usual practice i will first solve for units so newton newton cancels out meter squared doesn't cancels out it remains coulomb minus 2 cancels out with the two coulombs so I am left with meter squared what quantity was I finding distance squared and I got the unit of distance squared that is in SI units meter square so I am consistent in formula in units R square now proceeding further and how to deal with the engineering quantities numbers uh, multiplied by some orders of 10 you know as you learned in previous video for solution of problem 1.1 if you haven't seen that just go through if you are not comfortable with dealing with such quantities what I will do I will take the numbers in front of orders of 10 separately then I will deal with orders of 10 so it will be 9 into 0 0.4 into 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.2 now I will take 
orders of 10 10 raised to the power 9 minus 6 minus 6 meter square 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 cancels out I got 2 so I have 9 into 2 into 0 0.8 into 10 raised to the power 9 minus 6 3 minus 6 minus 3 then 10 raised to the power minus 3 meter squared I can sim for uh, seeing that I have to take square root of this quantity if I can convert it into such factors which individually have their roots then it will be simpler so I will keep 9 as it is and uh, 2 as it is and for point 0.8 I will borrow 110 from 10 raised to the power minus 3 to convert it into 8 so 10 raised to the power minus 3 becomes 10 raised to the power minus 4 and unit now I have 9 into 16 both have their roots and 10 raised to the power minus 4 also has a square root so I have the equation now as r square is equal to 9 into 16 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 meter squared taking square root on both sides I will get uh, and I will take positive square root because distance is positive here so r is square root of 9 is 3 square root of 16 is 4 square root of 10 raised to the power minus 4 is 10 raised to the power minus 2 square root of meter square is meter I will treat units as algebraic variables you can always do that units are simply algebraic variables and as you multiply divide square root and do whatever operations algebraic operations on algebraic variables you can do same with units so now I have a distance which is in meters which is obvious it is 12 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 meter so the distance between the two spheres is 12 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 meter or we can write it as 12 centimeter this is the answer for part A now what is asked in part B part B asks what is the force on the second sphere due to first from Newton's law you can simply tell the force on sphere 1 due to 2 is same in magnitude as force on 2 due to 1 so force on 2 due to 1 will be towards 1 magnitude same force on 2 due to 1 will have same magnitude as force on 1 due to 2 that is 0 0.2 Newton just direction is opposite and you can also see the same thing from Coulomb's law that force of interaction is same between the two charges just the direction is opposite so for B part magnitude of force is same 0 0.2 Newton in opposite direction